Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an Azure function using Visual Studio Code in four minutes. If you have everything installed from the prerequisites, you should see this Azure extension here, where I can see I've logged into Azure. You'll probably need to log in the first time you use this. And we have our function app that we plan to deploy to, AIS-functions.demo. I can now open the command palette, which is Control-Shift-P is the default, and I'll create a function now. So you can search create a function, choose this option, and we'll go ahead and choose the folder that we want to create this function in. I'll create a JavaScript function because I want to use the node runtime, which is the default runtime in my current function app. If I use a different type of function runtime, then it won't work for my function app. I'll use the most recent node model version because that is the best version that has async capabilities. It doesn't require a function.json file. Uh, it's just more advanced, better than the older version. And I'll just create a basic HTTP triggered function for my function app. I'll name it HTTP trigger from VS code. It all must be one word. Looking at my function, I can see it will return hello world unless there's a query parameter or within the request body, some text that can return the name. My current authorization level is anonymous, meaning once this uh, function is deployed, anyone can access it from the internet. I'm going to change this to function so that the authorization level requires a function specific key in order to get accessed once it's deployed to Azure. Now let's deploy our function. I can open up the command pane again with control shift P. I can look for deploy to Azure. I'll use this first choice. I'll select the Azure function app that we want to deploy our function to. This pop-up is to tell us that any function or functions that we deploy to this function app are going to overwrite the existing functions that you have on that function app. Make sure you're using source control so that if you do need to roll back changes from an older version, you can roll back those changes and deploy those to your function app. I'll deploy this now. Now that my function app is deployed, I can go over to the Azure extension. I can see within my Azure function apps that I have a functions here and I can see my function within VS Code. I can see this in the Azure portal. By going to the Azure portal, you might need to refresh the page. I can go to my Azure function and view information about it here. I can test my function within the portal using the test run feature, or I can get the function URL and use this in the browser. I'll do this now and see my hello world response from my Azure function. Note you shouldn't let these function keys in the URL be seen by other people, but I'm going to delete this function after this demo is done, so I don't mind you seeing it. Coming back to VS Code, I've made a small change to the response body of the Azure function. We can deploy this update using the command pane like before, or I could also go to my Azure function app. I can right click on it and I can deploy to the function app. I'll say yes. Now that my updated function has deployed to my function app, I can go over to the browser, refresh the page, and see my updated function at work. Now let's take a look at how we can play with these functions locally. If you have the Azure Function Core Tools installed, you can start these functions locally by running the command func start. Once your function is started, you'll get a local URL that you can use to test your function. I'll follow this link and see our function working. If you want to learn more about Azure Functions, you can find these resources in the description. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And if you missed the one minute overview video on Azure Functions, you can find that video here. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.